dead and another without his best friend. It all happened near 14th and Hancock in Odessa, where neighbors are now on edge. The surviving stabbing victim, William Smiley, told CBS 7 he and his friend pulled over steps from their home where they got into an argument with a group of more than 10 men. CBS 7's Denise Thomas joins us from where it all happened, where she talks to eyewitnesses about what led up to last night's stabbing. Denise? Yes, this is the area in which the stabbings actually happened and where the 21-year-old was left desperate for help here on this pavement. This is also the area in which the 34-year-old, who's now dead, fled from the scene. 21-year-old William Smiley and 34-year-old Clinton Howard were both stabbed just steps away from their family's home, getting out of their car after being confronted by what the surviving victim tells me was a large group of men. Neighbors tell me they tried to drag Smiley from the road. William Smiley was located in lying on the street in the 1400 block of North Hancock. He had told me that he put a towel on him, trying to stop the bleeding pressure. Just anything that he could do, just try to talk to him, let him know he was okay. Howard jumped into his vehicle and crashed about a half mile from the scene. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Neighbors were shocked. It's terrible. This neighborhood sure has gone down with the boom. And just too many people. Odessa police say they chased who they thought was a suspect in the stabbing. But that arrest did not turn out to be related. The news comes weeks after another incident nearby where a woman reported to police she was attacked by a stranger. It's unsettling and we've actually, this is my mother-in-law's house, we've actually moved away because of all the activity in this area. It's just, it's getting real bad. The body of the victim was sent to Tarrant County for an autopsy. And police tell us that they have no suspects in custody and no people of interest. Residents in this area are expected to be on high alert. In Odessa, Denise Thomas, CBS 7 News. Denise, thanks. Hot weather and dry conditions blanket the Prairie Basin again. Now a red flag <laughs> warning is in effect. Who's that, Andrew? <laughs> Thank you.